Hi everybody, welcome back to the Native Family. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys, but I did want to come on here and tell you guys thank you so much for those of you that came on to my grocery hauls and you were helping me locate pumpkin. And I appreciate you guys so much. Some of you guys have actually even told me about Amazon buying the bigger can and freezing it and then I felt super silly. I was like, I can buy, you know, sugar pumpkins, bake them and then make my own puree, which I still plan on doing because I think that's an awesome thing to teach the kids how to do you know, pumpkin bread and pumpkin pie from scratch. So that is something on my list to do. Um, I went into the grocery outlet. I found some awesome deals there. You've probably already seen that video prior to this one. But in the same strip mall, there is a Dollar Tree. So I ran into the Dollar Tree because some of you guys told me that there was pumpkin in there. So went in there with my fingers crossed and I found some cool things that I thought I would pick up while I was there. We are going to Vegas. Um, it was my birthday, September 9th. October 7th was my husband's, my husband's birthday. And my mother-in-law's birthday is October 21st, so we're going to go for the weekend to celebrate our birthdays, which should be interesting um, because we haven't been anywhere really since um, we got back from when the pandemic started. So that kind of traumatized me because when we came back from our last trip, everything in the stores were empty. Um, so I want to make sure there's things in my closet that I know that we need. Um, I don't want to run out of things and have to go out in case anything happens. So if it's there, I don't got to worry about it. I don't know if you guys have had that kind of like effect from what's been going on. Let me know down in the comments below. What is the things that you're picking up when you're out just to make sure you have a couple extra on hand for me. There was a couple things I thought that were pretty important and toilet paper was one of them. So they had no limit on any of their paper products anymore fully stocked. I mean, they have cases of it. So I did pick up five packs of the strong and soft toilet paper. We've used it before. It's perfectly fine. Um, the rolls aren't super thick, but they're not super thin either. And it's good just to have for an emergency backup. I did pick up two more bags of trash bags. I still have a little bit of the roll from the one I package I bought from Sam's club. That thing lasted forever. Um, but two, uh, boxes, 10 each, 20 bags for two bucks and they smell good and they actually work really good too. Then I saw all you guys picking up these wonderful Snugadoo socks. They are so cute. My kids love subby, I can't talk, fuzzy socks and fuzzy blankets. So I always have to keep throws on the couch. Nowhere near time for these socks in Southern California. We are still going through a small heat wave. So as we speak, I am sweating. Whew, it's hot. And I'm going to Vegas on top of it. So hopefully the weather there is cooled down. But I also learned if there's anything at the Dollar Tree that you see and you want, you had better pick it up because it's not going to be there when the time is right for that product. So I did pick these ones up for myself. These are really cute. They remind me of like knitted socks that my granny used to make. And I love the colors. Excuse this. I did get a chemical burn on the back of my hand from the bleach that got into my gloves. Don't even know how that happened, but that's okay. I have a small chemical burn. It's a little painful, but the purple socks are mine. And then look at these guys. Oh, these were about the boyish ones I could find. So I did pick these up for Wolf. Just a cute little puppy dog with a red bow tie and they're brown and like a nice little khaki color. Then I picked Nina up the cute little owls. They're like in a lavender and a lilac color. And then for the teal and white with the panda bear, those are for Rhiannon. I know that they are coming out with Christmas Snuggie socks or Snuggadoo socks. I also seen some of you ladies on Instagram picking up the gnome cups and the gnome socks. Now that's my wish list right now as far as Christmas items. I don't really see myself looking for any of the other items. I did pick this up. It's from the Cobblestone Corners, the Winter Village, you know those little plastic houses they get every year. Um, for those of you that are new, I absolutely love the red truck. I do collect them. I grew up driving in trucks like this. This is the same kind of year like my father drove. So I did pick these up. I do have a miniature three tiered tray that I thought this would look really, really cute on with some little snow and little Christmas trees. And they have quite a bit. They have like the little people ice skating, the snowmen, the Santa Claus, super cute things, but that's the only one I wanted out of that collection. This is what I used to wash my face. Just real simple Dove white beauty bar. Um, my dermatologist told me to use that. And then they had peace tea. My kids absolutely love peace tea. These are always, no matter where you go, they're never over a buck. So it's a good deal. This one is the mango green tea. Then they had the razzleberry. And then look, they had the um, zero sugar. I was so excited. I'm going to go back and look for more of these because to find anything um, like zero sugar 
especially in like the peace teas, was hard to find for the longest time. So that is for myself. That's one of my favorite drinks to have besides coffee. Then I did pick up two of the Juicy Orange Hand Soap. We are running low on stock for that, so I wanted to make sure that got replaced because I just opened two for the restrooms. I did pick up the Suave um, Tropical Coconut Shampoo and Conditioner for the hubby. He does not like fancy name brand shampoos. He just wants, like he says, the regular old stuff. Then I picked up this big old bottle of body wash. Um, like I said, if I pull one out, I'm trying to replace it keep rotation going we've never used this one before I mainly got it for the kids because they go through body wash like crazy which is good because they're washing themselves but they use a lot so 24 ounces for you know a buck and it's the cocoa butter and then I picked up some of the sleep aid I have been having the hardest time sleeping lately I'm trying to stay active I am trying to cut back on my coffee intake which was really hard but I'm doing really good with that so I picked up the sleep aid. I've never tried this. If you guys have tried this, let me know down in the comments below because I'm always iffy about trying new medications. But you get 36 for a buck. I also picked up four of the travel packs of the Assured Antibacterial Wipes. Um, I only picked up four because I know where I wanted them. I'm going to put one in each car. One in my hubby's uh, lunchbox and one in my purse. It's just good to always have these kind of things. Four of those. Then the kids wanted some of these little buddy bars. I don't always kind of get these kind of things for them, but since we are going on a trip, I thought that would be nice for them just to have something to munch on. Also, the trip, we got some of these Haribo Twin Snakes and the Trolley Sour Bright Sneakers. That's just for the to have goodies because when you stop at gas stations, stuff costs more than a buck and it adds up, so it's always nice to go. I always pack a lunch. I try to keep snacks in the car. We get our drinks prior. So all we do is gas up and hit the road. We don't have to worry about that I'm hungry thing. So we're not stopping at fast food places or anything like that. It's just better for us that way. So I did pick up some Lay Stacks and Cheddar. Everybody loves those and they don't get crushed. But look what I found. Oh my gosh, guys. So my Dollar Tree had so many cans of pumpkin. So thank you to you guys for telling me to run into the Dollar Tree because it was like the pumpkin gods were listening to me and I found pumpkin and they had a whole palette of it I mean it was like stock stock so I did pick up eight cans like I said before I try not to be greedy because if I was looking for it that hard I know somebody else is looking for it that hard so eight cans will hold me over perfectly fine if I still need more after these eight cans like I said I am just gonna go get some sugar pumpkins bake them and puree them myself but this was truly a blessing because like I said I have been trying to get these girls in here and even Wolf trying to teach them how to make some things so that pumpkins gonna come in handy for the car ride as well, I did pick two of the six packs of the waters. Um, yes, I did get the small ones because my kids never finish the whole one. If it gets hot, they won't drink it. So if I keep these in the cooler, they're easier to keep in the car and the ice chest. So two of those. And this was another thing that I was trying to keep stock up on. Um, if you watch my other Dollar Tree haul, I explained to you guys, I make big batches of soup and I make them into these little serving containers and I pop them in the freezer. That way, if we have a cold day, and there's, you know, none of us want the same thing. We can have a nice, you know, healthy soup for dinner. I also use these to do my fresh salsas with. And if you go buy the big packs of pickles or mayonnaise and you need to, you know, condense them down to fit in your fridge, these are awesome. They have twist caps, they're freezer, microwave safe, you know, top shelf in the dishwasher. I've had a couple of these probably for over a year. Kid you not, they work that good. Then I needed some claw clips. I stopped putting my hair in the hair wraps, the hair elastics, because I noticed I'm noticing breakage. And I just picked up the two clips. I haven't worn these probably since the girls were born, to be honest with you. And then everybody in my house has long hair, including the boys, so we always keep bla um, the black elastics in the house for them. So that is my Dollar Tree, but I wanted to come on here mainly just to tell you guys thank you so much for helping me find my pumpkin. If you guys like these kind of videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of when we upload new videos. I have a lot of fun new videos coming out for you guys. I may even try to vlog again. I haven't vlogged forever, so I'm going to try to maybe vlog this trip to let you guys know how it is out in the world right now. And if you can give this, like I said, give this video a big thumbs up on your way in or your way out. It does help me get into the algorithm so other people can find our channel and see if they like us too. And as always, family, don't forget to be kind, inspire, be inspired, and I will see you with another, another video. Bye, guys.